I thought the song was over. My name's Aaron Ciotti. Everybody calls me Ciotti. Welcome to the show. I don't have the right buttons pushed. Hold on. Uh, la, 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 la. Uh, four giveaways tonight. Four! Three for patrons, one for anybody. Uh, you can join the Patreon right now and get in on one or all three of those first three giveaways. Look at that. That's better. Uh, two Hummingbird AIO is broken. The one that we were trying to troubleshoot the other day, and then I tried to um, to swap on this other one, and I was uh, unplugging the uh, ELRS antenna, which is a tiny little IPEX uh, connector, and it popped off. And uh, somebody in the chat had said that that had happened to them too. So yeah, if you get a Hummingbird AIO, don't take the ELRS antenna off. Uh, if you do and you rip the IPEX off, get in touch with them, they'll almost certainly replace it. But yeah, uh, th there was kind of no reason for me to be taking that off other than that, like, I was about to solder a BT 2.0 lead up to the board. Um, so yeah, I wish I had just remembered whoever had told me that in the chat and not taken it off, but that's life sometimes. Uh, the, uh, flying that you were seeing... At the beginning of the uh, live stream there is from an edit on my channel called uh, Atlanta something or other. That was right when I'd first moved here and uh, one of the very few times that uh, I got an invite to fly with the uh, with the, uh, the OG crew and I had an absolute blast. Although a lot of those guys, two out of the three of those guys don't really fly anymore so uh, although I, I think uh, Kevin came back for a little bit, but then I think I, I, I saw a couple of edits from him and then I haven't seen anything since. So uh, I might just not be looking in the right places. Where is the, uh, there it is. Nope, that ain't it. There it is. Week one in Atlanta. That's the one. That's the one. Here comes a link. Uh, share, copy, there you go. If you want to watch it with music, where's the Chad? There it is. If you want to watch it with music, there's a link in the chat for you. It's way better with the proper music. I spend a lot of time syncing everything up to, uh, 
picking the right song to fit the sort of feeling of the music and then um, syncing everything up. It takes a long time. So go enjoy it, my friends. Hockey Rounds was first. Matt Norton was next. Rain Squad FPV, Slow Cal, Doubles FPV, Douglas Otwell, Wake and Bake, Stavel, Safe Zone FPV, Seamus Kelly, Four Little Pigs, David 4F, Northern Tier, Raging Leet, CB FPV, Timmons, FPV Flyer, CP, Sleepy CBR, Danzel the Terrible, Bo Weber, uh, Jay Hines, Big Friend, Morton Upshot, Walter, Upside, Danzel the Terrible, uh, T-Bird's in the house, uh, Upside, Great Scott, Walter, Rodney Lorimer, Bob Bruce, CMYK, Titan, Kevin Sumner, uh, Rain Squad again, Free Zone 661, and Fly Tribe, Mag Fly Tribe Magazine. What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming. Fly Tribe, thanks for coming and hanging. If you guys have not subscribed to Fly Tribe yet, you're only hurting yourself. It's it's really good. It's really, really, really good. Um, and they've been super supportive of me. So if you like watching me, supporting them supports me by supporting them, then me, and then them, and then me, and then me, and then them, and then them and me. And you. And you'll support yourself. Because you already do that. You support yourself. You support me, them, me, them, me, them, them, me, them, me, you. Got it? Sorry. Sometimes I think I'm funnier than I actually am. Uh, what's this YouTube tab that's open here? Get out of here. Four giveaways tonight. Three for patrons, one super chat based. Uh, to get in on the Patreon giveaways, cidfpv.com. There's a Patreon button or just search for me on, uh, on there. And then uh, the $5 a month tier will enter you to win Tiny Whoop and Toothpick Parts, $10 a month, Micro Brushless and Cinewoop Parts, uh, 20 bucks a month, 5-inch parts. Uh, if you've got a spare dollar a day, you can join at the $30 tier, and that enters, enters you in to win all three. Um, and then the Super Chat giveaway we just sort of do at the time. If you join the Patreon now, or you if you go from the $3 to the $5 tier like a lot of people like to do, um, it'll you'll get in on tonight's giveaways. I do the giveaways at around 11 o'clock. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, a couple more folks well deserving of... Oh, man. I, I, my, uh, my cousin Andrea is uh, two years older than me, and, and we've always been great friends. And Andrea is so awesome. We don't talk as much as we should, um, but, like, cousin Andrea is just the best. Uh, she lives out in California. Her wedding um, is the one that I shot still photography at uh, way back when, probably 10, 15 years ago. It's the only time I've gone to California. Um, we shot on the beach, uh, and then we went to Catalina Island, actually. Uh, and it was just amazing. And, uh, yeah, it's it's one of the it's one of the very few weddings that I actually shot stills at. Um Rewind back to 17, 18 year old Aaron Ciotti. And um, I just learned how to drive. I had an 87 Mustang uh, notch back, which is the lightweight, stiff one. Uh, and um, cousin Andrea, cousin Andrea is my um, Uncle Vince's daughter my uncle vince unfortunately committed suicide uh last year or the year before um you guys have heard me talk about him before um and so andrea is his daughter and and they lived up in north jersey uh in this really cool area called boone and had this this amazing house um and andrea had a mariner blue uh 90 no no, no hold on what year is it uh First generation Miata in that in that Miata blue, um, and I just learned how to drive. I, I, I was just a couple years into driving. I was just in love with the whole process of driving, and Andrea let me drive her um, Miata. And first time driving a convertible, first time driving like a proper sports car, right? Going from a Mustang to a a, a legitimate sports car, super lightweight, um, and. I'll just never forget it. It was just it, it was just one of those moments in life that was magical. And it was like, holy shit, there's no roof. The car is really lightweight. It's it just the, the connection between your fingers and the the road surface in a Miata is different than 
99.9% of other cars. And that all kind of came through and it, and it was just, um, and it, it was up in the mountains, um, up in the mountains of North Jersey. So like the roads were fun. And uh, yeah, it was just a moment that, that like opened my eyes in life. And then eventually down the road, when I got deep into autocross, um, I, I, I didn't, I didn't become obsessed with it, but it was something that was there. Right. And then when I got really into autocross and I started instructing and driving other people's Miatas, I remembered it and it came back and I just had to have one. Um, and I got one and, um, Andrea sold that car forever ago. Um, but then just recently, uh, she bought, she bought it again. She, she bought it, uh, not the same one, but, uh, she got the same color same year, same everything. And uh, it's just, uh, I don't know. I, ju I just find that to be the coolest thing ever. Here, hold on. And uh, I guess I won't show her face on the stream because whatever. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is my cousin Andrea's new car. And and yeah, this is the, this is the very first convertible. I this is identical. Same year, same color, same everything. She got one in great shape. I... I there's, uh, I mean, used car prices are kind of nuts right now, but Miata, there, there's something that we lovingly refer to as Miata tax at the moment. Miatas are selling for a lot. You, you could probably buy that that car uh, five years ago for six grand, seven grand. I bet you she paid 20 for it. Um, just, you know, used car prices are out of control, but the Miata tax is real at the moment. They're, the, the first generation Miatas are getting old enough where they're actually even though they made just tons of them they're starting to get like somewhat rare a little bit not really but kind of um and so the prices are going up on them i mean all uh, cool car prices have gone through the roof um but yeah there's th that's uh that's something that's kind of cool I, I i just happened to scroll past that email and you know i'm more of a car guy than an fpv guy believe it or not and so uh yeah you know there you go there's a little piece of my life I'm so happy for it. It's just, uh, it's like a stock Miata too. Oh God! Like, don't get me wrong, putting sway bars, coilovers, big wheels and tires, um, bolt-ons, all kinds of shit on them. It really wakes them up. Like, good God! It 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 turns it from, it, it turns it into a in, into something really insane. But stone stock, um, they're a real thing. Mazda really did something with that car. If, if you get past like the squishiness because it's meant to be a daily driver, right? Um, yeah, it, it's it's a hell of a thing in, in completely stock form. Even though it's getting even though they're getting old, there's still just like a, a magic to them. If you ever get a chance to buy a Miata, don't don't miss it. Snag one. Uh, you could probably sell it for what you paid for it, and the time, yeah, your ownership will be a cool experience if you can get over yourself. If you buy cars for as status symbols, it's not for you. But you, you probably wouldn't buy the even dream of buying a Miata if that's the case. Um, if you're actually into cars and and you can get over yourself, um, buying a Miata is a is a moment in your life that you'll never forget. And it's it's a they're just magic, absolutely magic. Um, Grace and Bowen, welcome to the Gangly Gang. Thanks for jumping onto the Patreon. Uh, he's going to be in the uh, giveaways tonight. And then I know I saw one more. Where was it? Where was it? Unread. Oh, come on. There it is. Aaron Muller. Welcome to the Gangly Gang as well, my friend. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, these are folks that have gone over to... Oh, and uh, Travis Sawyer. Travis Sawyer as well. Thank you, brother. Uh, you guys are the best. Thank you all for supporting me. It's super, super, super cool. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. And, oh my god, Al uh, Alexander as well. I didn't see that. That was uh, just recently. Alexander, welcome, my friend. Thanks, people. All right, cool. So, let me get this. I gotta mark this as red, otherwise... No, Portia, stop emailing me. Yes, I came and, and spent time on your sim rigs. No, for Christ's sakes, I can't afford your, uh, your cars. That's why I was on the simulator. Oh shit, I didn't want to do that. Don't mark as junk. Unread, not junk. There we go. There we go. Uh, oh, also, Hernan uh, Edgar Hernandez as well. Uh, just did it. 1012. Welcome, brother. Our newest patron. Cool. Uh, 
Kevin James got his uh, drill bits and pin vise. Hell yeah. Uh, for $40, you can stop ruining Tiny Wolf motors. I've got a uh, little package that I put together here with, and, and I still have the, uh, the crazy uh, flamed to hell. Kind of looks cool, but kind of a sloppy job that I did pin vise. Uh, wait, no, my phone. Look at this magical shit. Uh, do I have a scene for this? I guess I don't. All right, I won't show it to you on the phone. I'm gonna disconnect. Uh, I'll use this I'm like a caveman. This is a pin vise that I hammered on with a torch and it turned kind of purple. I didn't do a super clean job of it. Uh, this might be the last one to ship out, unless you really want it, and then you can have it. Uh, yeah, this is a pin vise. It holds drills on both sides, and then both sides, and then you get two drill bits. One of them is 0.99 millimeter. One of them is 1.5 millimeter. You put these into this little double-ended pin vise, and you put your propellers onto the 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 drill bits, and you open them up a little bit. This way you don't have to push as hard as you can to get them onto motors, and then you don't ruin your motors by forcing the motor shaft down through the bell. Um, I have a bunch more, I have one, two, six. I have six more of these pin vices in silver, or if you want the crazy purplish, bronzish kind of messy one, you can have it. It's 40 bucks, PayPal me, over on cidfpv.com, put pin vice me and then put your address and your email for tracking, and I will ship it to you. And then your life will get just a little bit better because it sucks, man. And your fingers will write you a thank you letter and they'll say, for Christ's sakes, why did it take you so long? You've been hurting me. Why you hurt me so much? So there's that. Uh, Kevin James, enjoy yours, brother. Kevin James will shortly be in the chat every live stream singing the praises of the, <laughs> of the pin vice. It's, it's really, it's that good, I swear. Uh, we're doing mailbag tonight as well. I got a box from Newbie Drone. It was very weird. Something had spilled all over the box, like soap or something. It was weird, and it wasn't something from inside the box. Um, it was very, very odd. Very, very, very odd. Uh, the announcer just jumped onto the Patreon. Welcome, friend. Thank you for the support. Uh, Amazon Clinic is discreet and will care for me, apparently. Uh, where Where is Marcus Unread, for God's sakes? Uh, all right, we're good. We're good, friends. What, uh, what are we doing? Hummingbird. Hummingbird V3 AIOs from uh, Newbie Drone. Uh, I broke one of them on a pretty hard nose in crash. It was a hard. It was a crash into the concrete though, uh, into the carpet. Though. Concrete. Uh, I had crashed that rig a couple of times into the hardwood floors upstairs, but that crash did happen a little prematurely. I felt, um, and so I've been wondering about the durability of the. Um, Newbie Drone Hummingbird V3 AIO. Uh, I wired one up two streams ago, and it when when I hooked up a battery that was at full charge, 4.35, uh, it wasn't happy, and I couldn't figure it out, and I haven't been able to figure it out. So uh, I took it out of the rig. That's this one here. I desoldered the BT 2.0. Uh, I take the, I took the other one that they'd sent me. And I was going to solder the BT 2.0 on. I tried to pop off the ELRS antenna just so that it didn't get in the way. And the little IPEX um, uh, mount? I don't know. The little IPEX on the board that the ELRS antenna is snapped down to broke off. Uh, the UFLs are just barely big enough where you can sometimes solder them back on as long as there's not like chips right up against them. The Ipexes are too small. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I could try to take one of these UFL Ipex antennas 
and strip the the black outer um strip the uh the the black outer shielding bunch up the uh the the actual shielding and direct solder it to the board but it's it's just it's just too small uh, like i i've just it's too small and like i'm i'm just i don't know <laughs> look i'm i'm probably not going to fly this rig this is not the ultimate freestyle tiny whoop formula uh, I'm afraid that I'm going to blow up another VTX. I've not heard great reports from people in terms of the durability. Um, this would be like an hour-long repair, probably, to get all that done clean enough to, to then get it soldered down. Once I got it soldered down to the board, it would be good forever unless the VTX blows up. Um, but I... Like, I hate to just bail on something, but like... Uh, yeah, I'm I'm not going to do that. I'm I'm just going to let it go. Uh we tested it. I uh, I feel good about the testing that we did. And I flew it a bunch and it flew really good. If if it were durable, um I would be much quicker to recommend it. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is a, a, a 2.4 gig piece of antenna wire. So I'm going to keep this. Actually, I'm going to compare this real quick. Well, that's interesting. Uh, let me check something. Let me check something. So this is a 5.8 piece of antenna. No, that's a lot shorter. Okay. No, that's good. Uh, I think what we're looking at is fourth wave versus fifth wave, maybe. So in the yellow, uh, I doubt you guys are going to, uh, you can see it in the yellow is the newbie drone 2.4 gig tuned length of antenna, which I've used a bunch and they work totally fine. Um, in the white, here is the active element of that comes on the hummingbird for the 2.4 and they are noticeably different lengths um check this out if you go to google uh, and you look for tuned wire length for 2.4 gigahertz uh fourth wave fifth wave uh you're gonna find an article oh man the article used to be here we go dipole antenna calculator this will probably do it uh frequency 2.4 oh dipole conductor diameter i didn't know that mattered maybe that's what's going on Okay, maybe that's what's going on. The, there used to be an art. The first article used to be. I, I've I've never searched this. Uh, um, I've never searched this in depth before, but uh, okay. So Oscar is showing the number that we see a lot, which is thirty one point two millimeters. Let me see real quick which one which one of these is. Yeah, okay. So the yellow newbie drone one is is the 31 millimeter. The uh the silver active element is roughly 25. So yeah, I think this is maybe fifth wave. I th I think the the hummingbird is coming with a fifth wave um uh antenna, but then the yellow ones that newbie drone sells are quarter wave. And that's a thing that I find interesting that nobody else probably does. <laughs> uh, he doesn't really talk about fourth wave versus fifth wave, I don't think. Oh, here's that other measurement, though. RXSR, 23.5. Hey! Wait. What? 
Quarter wave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quarter wave is 31. And then, so yeah, 20. Uh, I, I could just do the math if, if, if I was good at math things. Uh, but I'm not. But yeah, 31.2 to 25, that kind of feels like that would be fourth wave to fifth wave, right? Um, if you're going to sh Best case scenario is to run an antenna that's uh, the full length. But as long as you stay within proper fractions, you can shorten the antenna down. So if you have a full length antenna that's this and you cut it in half, it'll still work pretty good. If you cut it in half again, it'll still work pretty good. Like as long as you stay within like an fraction, um, the antenna will still, it, it won't work as good as the full length. But yeah, if you just randomly cut it, then it's not going to work as well, I guess is what I'm getting at here. So cut it to a fraction, half, quarter, that kind of thing. Uh, isn't a fifth smaller than a quarter? Yep, the the yellow antenna is quarter wave, 31.23, uh, and then the silver one is a little bit shorter. So that's why I'm assuming that that's fifth wave. Um, but I could be wrong, could be sixth wave. I don't know, I don't know how to do the math. Uh, I could figure out how to do the math, but I'm not gonna, somebody else do the math. Uh, what's happening? Let me get caught up on chat. Danzel the Terrible says, howdy. T-Bird says, what's up? Uh, can you tell I'm bored? <laughs> Made it to both live streams this week. CMYK says, howdy, gang, gang. Q Silver Media says, what's up? Uh, Meta Dirtson went for a bike ride and his bike broke. Must be the universe telling me I should stay in for the live stream tonight. <laughs> Stavel says, uh, crushed my dad's Mobula HD0 on Easter, black screen of death with no OSD, uh, but 5 volt at VTX pads. Here's to breaking it for him. <laughs> uh, now he gets a brand new one from you, I guess. Matt Norton says, I have a Tiny Hawk 3 and the motors are upside down. Uh, how would I put uh, How would I put them in a v uh, V3 frame with motor configuration? Motor, uh, motor plugs are on top of the flight controller board. Um, uh, Tiny Hawk 3. Is that what I have here? I have the Emacs sent me these two rigs, um, to fly. You have this, don't you? You have this. I've been, I, I, I had the other rig on top, which is an outdoor rig, and I've been waiting for the weather to not be awful. Um, I didn't even realize that this is an indoor rig, although to me, with how heavy this is, this is kind of an outdoor rig, as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, I mean, that's going to be, a, that's going to be tough, man. The plugs are on the top, the ELRS antenna is on the top. I don't know if you're going to be able to move this over into a regular tiny whoop frame. Um, I would maybe just get the replacement frame and just kind of leave it in here. Um, because yeah, the motors are upside down and that's super weird. Um, the, the, the ELRS antenna being on the bottom is going to be a pain in the ass. The, the, the camera plugs are also going to be on the wrong side. You're gonna have to pass them up and through, uh, tiny max, uh, tiny max Emacs stuff is very difficult to upgrade. Like if, if you're going to buy something from Emacs, usually you just kind of want to leave it alone and just leave it exactly as it is. Uh, they do a great job with designing stuff that is just this like they don't do a great job making stuff that's upgradable um as i found out with the baby hawk way back when um i i ended up replacing everything on there um so yeah i i think my recommend i i i think my recommendation is going to be to leave it alone um leave it in like if you broke the frame buy a replacement frame um and just kind of leave it as it is uh if you outgrow it at some point stick it on the wall and you know it's it's your wall art and every once in a while you can go back and fly it and be like wow okay custom building is definitely still worth it um because yeah there's just there's so many things about this that are going to kind of be a pain in the ass for you um the aio and the motors are the main ones and if you replace the motors you've replaced like half the rig if you replace the aio you've replaced the entire rig right like that that was the game that i played with the with the baby hawk back in the day is like it's like oh let me replace this and let me replace this and i just replaced the whole thing okay uh and then i ended up putting the baby hawk back together someday um and it's like what have i done here um so yeah i would 
I would just leave it as is. I know that's a, I know that's not the answer that you want, but it's the answer that I think I need to give you because if you start, if you replace the motors, at some point you're going to replace the AIO, and at that point you might as well have just have just bought a uh, Mobula Six in the first place. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm going to leave this opened because I'm going to fly this since it is an indoor rig. We're going to fly it. I will do a little uh, a little live stream on it. What do you think of that, world? Uh, Just Mo says, how was your day? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember my day. I, I fell asleep um, before Joshua came on. I, I woke up in the middle of his stream, um, and I feel like a fucking Etch-A-Sketch that just got shaken upside down my face hurts a lot less which is nice um but that that the sunburn i got thursday was way worse than i thought um and uh, i've been peeling but yeah i don't know it's fine it's a face jake fpv says last time i asked uh, about drilling out props you told me that makes them go off balance um hopefully what we were talking about is drilling out one millimeter propellers up to 1.5 millimeters uh, that is not what the pin vise is for. The pin vise comes with 0.99 and 1.5 so that you can take your one millimeter propellers uh, and put them on the 0.99 drill bit to just remove ever so slightly uh, a little bit of material if they're too tight putting them on the motors. Uh, some gem fan props like the 1210 and the 1219S the the inner diameter of the propeller hole is perfect and when you go to push them onto a motor you don't have to hammer them on there um you just push with the right amount of force and they drop onto the motor and all is right with the world um most hq props all of newbie drones props and some gem fan props the inner diameter is just too small it's like you know they say one millimeter but it's actually like my guess would be 0.96 of a mil um I've bought 0 0.96, 0 0.97, 0 0.98, and 0.99 drill bits um, for science uh, to kind of figure that out. Uh, and so those propellers, if you want to run them without ruining your motors, you need to put them through a 0.99 millimeter drill bit um, because these tiny whoop motors are super, 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 super fragile. The 1.5 millimeter drill bit that comes in the pin vise is there. Um, because some of these 1.5 millimeter props are actually like 1.44, 1.45, 46. Um, and it really helps to, but what you want to remember is that it is a true 1.5 millimeter drill bit. So you don't want to put the propeller on there and spin it a whole bunch. You want to, I mean, th this kind of goes every time we're drilling, right? Like always remove less material because you can't put it back. But with the one point with the 0.99 millimeter drill bit, it's not as as important to do this. But you still want to do this. You put the propeller under the drill bit. You spin the propeller. Let the drill bit take a little bit of plastic. And once the propeller has gone all the way onto the drill bit, you take the prop off and you test fit it. You absolutely want to do that on the 1.5 millimeter drill bit um, because it's not. I was not able to find cheap 1.49 uh, millimeter drill bits. Um, which I have done before. I also have 1.474849 uh, millimeter drill bits. Those were $10 minimum per. Um, and yeah, I, I, I was not going <laughs> to buy uh, 10, $100 worth of 1.49 millimeter drill bits. Uh, but luckily the 1.5s that I got, as long as you're careful and just spin the propeller on there and then take it right back off, don't let it sit on the drill bit and spin it 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 and spin it. And spin it. Um, it gets the job done perfectly and it opens up the 1.5 mil props just right. If you want to drill one millimeter propellers out to 1.5, what you want to do is get a set of drill bits that has one millimeter, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5. 1 and if you sit there and drill them 0.1 of a millimeter at a time, there's a chance that they won't be out of balance. Um, there's a chance that they will when you're done, which is why I don't recommend it. Um, that's been my experience. Maybe you're better at drilling than me, but you know, my experience on more than one occasion, um, has been that 
yeah, when you drill a prop from one mil out to 1.5 or from 1.5 out to two in this way, um, a lot of the time they're not balanced when you're done. Uh, if you're looking to drill props out to two millimeters, FPV cycle actually for a little while sold um, a very slick little setup, uh, but it's been out of stock for a long time. So I have a feeling he can't get any more of them. Um, if you're absolutely desperate for it, I can maybe like let you borrow this. Uh, but not many people are drilling props out to two millimeters anymore. That little setup uses the T-mount holes to center the prop perfectly. Um, and then it's got a little custom CNC piece that um, perfectly centered, keeps the drill bit dead center. Um, so the propellers are not out of balance when you're done. Titan says, do you have an opinion on the baby turtle two inch frame? Uh, that's a sub 250 frame, right? Inch frame. Yes, from uh, sub 250 G FPV. Uh, his frames seem to be awesome. I really do wish he could figure out a way to make them removable arm, but that's asking for an awful lot. Uh, yeah, his frames seem great. Uh, he's got a lot of really good pilots flying them, which which means a lot. And I've kind of heard nothing but good stuff about them. So yeah, the uh, the sub 250 G frames get a big thumbs up for me. I've actually been talking to him recently. He's gonna send me something cool um, that that I'm gonna put wax nail on. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. That should be neat. Denzel the Turbo says maybe the FedEx guy. Oh God, Jesus. Tins of the Terrible says, exactly, Sleepy CBR. He heard about Ciadi FPV's magnificent mailbag. <laughs> you guys are fucking gross. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Uh, go subscribe to Mighty Car Mods. They're the goddamn best. Bob Noxious sent me another package today because he is an awesome human being doing awesome things um this should be the final version of the uh of the batarang what should we call it the batarang or the batwing batwing sounds cooler and it makes me laugh every time go search urban dictionary for batwing if you don't if you're not a little bit grossed out but also a little bit giggly every time anyone says it um, yeah, so this should be the final version, which is awesome. So I, I can't wait to test this out. Um, and there should also, I think there's also a slightly bigger version. I think this is the slightly bigger version of it. Uh, and I'm going to be able to build, uh, I'm going to be able to convert my analog, uh, drift car chasing rig over to this lighter, better, faster, stronger setup. Uh, Thank you, Bob Noxious. Very, 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 very cool. And this is probably a good time to tell you guys about 3D printing competition 2.0. Uh, six months ago or so, when uh, when we found the, the McStinky mount and got all excited about it, I did a little 3D printing contest and said, hey, uh, print, get your, get your 3D printer settings as dialed in as you possibly can and print a bunch of McStinky mounts out and then mail them to me and I will judge them. I'm the worst judge ever. I don't even have a 3D printer, but I, I will unprofessionally judge them and crown a winner and the winner gets nothing. The winner will get something. Uh, it's not going to be like a gangly fan or anything like that, but the winner will get something. I'll, 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 you'll get something. You'll get a big bag of bat wings. That's what you'll get. No, you will not get that. Uh, but the winner will get something, like a little sticker pack or something. There'll be something cool. Um, and we're going to do the same thing with the Batwing, the Batarang. It's got to be Batwing, doesn't it? Uh, if you need McStinky mounts, I have lots of them. I will send you send them to you. This is one of the reasons I thought this was cool to do it, right? I end up with a whole bunch of these things, and then if you guys need them, you just let me know, and I mail them to you for whatever shipping costs. Um... If, if, I, if you guys win something, or if you just ever are buying something from me and you need a McStinky, I will just throw it in. Or you can just send me five or six bucks and that, that's the price of shipping and I'll send you a couple of McStinky mounts. Uh, McStinky mounts are just like one of the racer's preferred tiny whoop camera mounts. 
I actually don't like them uh, as much as the Mobula Six canopies, but they're a close second. They, I've I've used them a bunch and they work astoundingly well. Um, so yeah, the Batwing is going to be our next uh, McStinky mount. So if you're interested. Uh, stay tuned. There's a uh, uh, on the Discord on my Discord. There is a 3D printing text channel. Uh, when we're ready to go with it, I'll post it in there. Uh, and yeah, we'll do a little contest. I'll give you guys a couple of weeks. You send me your uh, your bat wings, and then after the fact, the bat wings will go out to uh, whoever needs them. Uh, and this is a very cool little run cam session mount. Uh, I, it looks like it's for a glide, actually. This looks to be the the, the glide mounting points. Uh, it's got cool little horns all over it. What what's the deal with this, Bob Noxious? I, I I don't know if I saw him in the chat or not. Um, but uh, what's the story behind this? Whose mount is this? This looks like somebody's logo here. It's like a skull with a little uh, crack in the top left, and there's the cool little horns. This is awesome. So, th what's interesting about this is. This is a rear load session mount. So you gotta you gotta get the set. This would be interesting. I'm guessing when it's mounted to the quad, you can push it down flat like that, and then you could run the session into the back of it. Um, that would actually hold it very securely because then you clamp down your battery behind this, so the session ain't coming out. Um, but sometimes sometimes you do want to take it out. So that's that's interesting. But yeah, it looks like this is bendy enough where you'd be able to just force this thing down and just ram the session in the back. This is cool. Thank you, Bob Noxious. As always, you were the man. Um, I got a box from Newbie Drone today with some fun stuff that I know some of you guys will be interested in. Uh, uh, Weebleed sent me two packs of the uh, Gemfan 1219 propellers in red, uh, and I figured I would snag a bunch of the other colors uh, so I got the the light purple, because uh, I did run out. Uh, the smoke crotch gray, uh, the clear. I think these are called Justice Clear. Yeah, yeah, Justice Clear. Uh, Justice being the uh, phenomenal tiny wee pilot. And then I also got some um, uh, of the HQ 35 millimeter propellers. And you'll find out why at some point. I'm going to test the Meteor 75 Pro frame again. Well, maybe. I was going to test it on the Hummingbird AIO, but now I've got two Brokens. So, uh, and this requires... Uh, man, I'm just going to sell this. Who wants to buy a Meteor 65 Pro frame with Tiny Whoop 0802 EX 30,000 KV motors a set of the Gemfan tri-blades, and a set of the HQ tri-blades. If you want to buy this little setup, it's yours. I'm I'm over it. I was going to put that onto the Hummingbird one more time. I've already done that. Um, I was not blown away. I, I it, it was okay, actually. Um, but I'm just over it, man. Does anybody want these Hummingbird AIOs? Wait a second, this one doesn't have motor plugs on it. The one that I broke the IPEX off doesn't have motor plugs on it. <laughs> is this even a hummingbird? Yeah, it is. HMB V3 Rev B. Uh, I'm so frustrated that I broke that thing off. I feel like it was my fault. But, I mean, I just tried to pry the little Ipex off. I don't really think it was my fault. I I'm, I'm, I can't believe I didn't notice that this one doesn't have motor plugs. Uh, yeah. I'm done, I think. I, I just have too much going on, man. Uh, there, there's there's just too much, too many other things that, that need attention. Um, so, yeah. This is, if, if you want these, they're yours. The one of them, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with the one of them. Uh, but, yeah, they're all yours if you want them. This is Newbie Drones 03 Naked uh, Conversion Kit. Uh, Flywoo's little kit is the one that gets all the attention, but this one looks very similar and it looks fine. It takes a bunch of weight off of the, uh, the 03. Uh, I'm considering doing that for the uh, cycle chasing rigs. Uh, Nice little kit here. 
just it's just a bunch of CNC aluminum, just lightweight little bars. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little bit sketched out to do it because I need the rig to be reliable. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It removes an awful lot of weight. It removes like 20 something grams, which is yeah, really significant. So I'm going to figure it out. I've got a fresh build planned to carry the O3 to chase them cyclists. Uh, when I get all the stuff in, I think I'm going to weigh it and I'll figure out how close it is to 250. Uh, this is the main reason that I put in a newbie drone order. This is the walk snail avatar goggle newbie drone specific foam. And I am very excited about this. The, uh, I put some fat shark foam on here and it's pretty good, but the problem is it's not thick enough. And when I take these goggles and I put, rah, 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 I put them up on my forehead. <laughs> the uh, the lenses touch my greasy ass dago forehead, and the, and so the lenses are perpetually disgusting, like they are right now. Um, and so I'm praying to God that this newbie drone foam is thicker. It it does look thicker, um, and it's it's pretty dense. I am so excited about this goggle foam. That I'm putting it on right now, god damn it. Uh hold on. Let me get this other foam off here. Come on! Come on! There we go. Oh god. Yo, every time I take foam off of goggles, I'm just so fucking horrified by all the dead face skin that's all over the Velcro. It's always like so shockingly gross. This foam kind of started to come apart a little bit here. That's, man, this adhesive really let go. But this foam, it never kind of fit perfectly, and it was always kind of pinched in the middle. It's, the 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 walk snail faceplate is is pretty similar to the Fat Shark faceplates. Um, go figure. Fat Shark designed the the case for the uh, for the walk snail goggles, right? For the Dominators, their their version of them, the Dominators. Um, yeah, but yeah, this is the foam that I've been using and, uh, this be the newbie drone foam. So let's see real quick. Um, there's nothing for you to, I mean, you want to look at my crotch here. You can look right at it. It's going to be thrilling. Check out my horribles, friends. Kids still say horribles. Look at this disgustingness. Ooh, that's, that's my crotch. I told you, you insisted on looking at my crotch. I, I fought, but I lost. Get out of here. Get out of the way. Okay. So let's put the center on first. Cause it's got that like little butt looking thing. And this is, this is how I always do it, right? Center first, that, that makes sure that they get perfectly centered. And then you kind of roll it out. And you go center again down here. And then you sort of just, well, it's not working as good on the bottom. You just want to make sure you get it centered, that's all. And then so on this side, we got the center in there. And then we just roll it out. Let's go from the inside out. And then, yeah, you know, on these ones, it's actually working better to kind of roll it down almost. Uh, no, sorry, to go like that and then around and like that. That works pretty well. All right, cool. Let's see. Hold on. I got a little. You always got to mess with them a little bit. Come on. Get down in there. Yeah, that's the stuff. That's how you got to do it. All right, crotch cam uh, success. I'm still very behind in chat for the record. So if, if you're trying to get my attention in chat and be like, for the love of God, stop showing your crotch. Sucks for you. Let's see how they are on my burned ass face. Oh, yeah, the lenses are not touching my fucking forehead. Boy, is that nice.
Let me power them on. Okay, so here's the test. I will clean the lenses. I will put them on my forehead. And I'll put them back down on my eyes. Here's why this, the main reason that this is really annoying to me is that in order, the only way to get these onto my face with clean lenses, I'll show you. The only way was to put them to do this. I have to put it on my eye. I mean, it's, it's not the end of the world. I have to put it on my eye like this, and then I, I have to go like that. And then, um, and then to not get shit all over the screens, I'd have to take them down off my face, and then back up, and then this, ugh, which I just I hate that. Uh, that it could be just be me, uh, but for me, this is a thousand times easier. And I can feel that the lenses are not touching my eyes, but right now is where we'll actually get to see. And yep, the lenses are not all smudged up. Hell yes! Thank you, newbie drone. And there is no light leak whatsoever. I mean, there's a big bright studio light like hammering on me. If I move around enough, I get the tiniest little light, light leak there. But I could just scooch the strap up a little bit to get around that. Yeah, this foam is great. I am a big fan of this foam. Man, it is comfy. It's like just the right thickness. Most uh, newbie drone foam is is like this. It's just right. Uh, dude, yeah! Great success, yo. Newbie drone Max Comfort Goggle Phone Walks Nail Avatar HD Sponge. They nailed it. Of course they did. I, I, I've yet to use newbie drone goggle foam that's not just perfect. Uh, and yeah, this follows that same... Path. Amazing! Dude! Rad! Newbie drone. Great job. They make the best foam. H has anybody had a bad experience with uh, newbie drone goggle foam? Is, does anybody have a, a completely misshapen head out there? I mean, that's really what I'm asking here, right? <laughs> no, it's not. Um, yeah, has anybody had uh, newbie drone goggle foam not fit their... Big dumb head. Oh, is that just me? I'm the one with the big dumb head. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I also got iFlight 1002 22,000 KV motors, yo. Uh, the RC and power motors are on the way. But hey, you want to talk about shipping times? Uh, GetFPV in Florida got beat by Newbie Drone in California. I placed the orders the same the same night. What do you think of that world? I'm sure the GetFPV box will be here tomorrow. I hope I actually put the order in. I hope I didn't just think I put the order in. Uh, these are iFlight Zing 1002s. I haven't heard anything about them. They are 22,000 KV. I'm super curious how they are. I figured we've got the Flywoos. We've got the RC and Powers coming. These were on the Newbie Drone website. I said, okay. Let's give them a shot. Maybe they're as magical as the RC and Powers. Uh, when you guys support me with Super Chats and... Um, uh, what's the other thing? Patreon? Uh, I have the money to do this kind of stuff and to just buy shit on a whim and test it. This is why it's cool that, uh, that you guys hook me up and uh, stick around. So keep it up. And uh, I'll keep buying shit to uh, to test so that I can tell you, do buy this, don't buy that, and then you won't waste your money. That's why the you know that's that's one of the big things that you get from like the Patreon, right? For a couple of bucks a month, um, I will tell you what sucks, and then you know like five bucks a month. What's that a year? Sixty bucks. You've wasted way more than sixty bucks on stuff that sucks. Hopefully, I can help you out with that. Stop wasting your damn money. And then uh, we can hang out together as well. Wait, no. These are going to go over there. Uh, last but certainly not least is a looming back injury. Ugh. This box <laughs> just showed up from Broken Prop Crew, BPC. In Austin, Texas, uh, they're the guys that bought Pretty Fly, the uh, lanyard and head strap company. 
and um they are i think they're kind of closing up shop but as you see here please share this with the other people who love fpv as much as we do thanks for keeping fpv alive very cool note uh from them holy shit on a pancake it this box is like 30 pounds of lanyards and head straps uh so if if you see any in here that really speak to you and and you love them uh let me know and uh look I, here's here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna start throwing these in with everything you do an etsy order you get one of these thrown in you, you win a giveaway you get one of the you get a, a, a matching lanyard head strap thrown in um you got to tell me like, because look, I have so many. This one's pizza. Look how many I have. Tell me like the one that you want. I'll keep showing this box, keep looking and seeing if there's ones that you love. Look at that. It's a cool green pattern there. Or I guess you could also just go on Broken Pro Yeah, you could pro I think their website's still up. You could just go on Broken Prop Crew's website and then um I might not have the exact one, but yeah, that's where you can like look at a lot of them. And uh, yeah, but but buy something for me. Buy something from like my Etsy store, or just message me like, yo, I I want so I want the sticker that I saw you show off, or yo, I need uh, I need uh, I don't know, tiny whoop screws. Or whatever. Buy something for me so that you have to pay for the shipping, and then I'll just throw this in. Uh, yeah, these are great quality. The designs are awesome. The printing looks beautiful, and uh, yeah, it's just they're awesome. I use them. I, I've I've used their uh, goggle straps and lanyards for like four plus years, uh, and I and like every time I go to something different, like a fat strap, I don't like it as much. I, I, I really dig them. They're small, they're skinny, they're comfy. Um, so yeah, shout out to Broken Prop Crew. So, so, so cool. Mav Rick, fun name as well. Um, there's your, that's, that's, that's my uh, mail bag for you, my friends. Wait, hold on. Let's see what the, uh, let's see what the note is on the, on the newbie drone order. That's always fun. Uh... Ah, no note! Just a big X. That's okay. That's okay. Every once in a while, you know, you just gotta pack the fucking order and move on with your day. Can't always be... Be talking shit. Maybe we drawn winter sticker set. This'll go in with uh, tonight's Tiny Wolf tier giveaway. And the candy goes to Azalea, as always. All right, people, what's happening in chat? Uh, Curtis Hayes says, great hockey rounds yesterday. Seattle FPV's flyaway tutorial got me over the hump on my beaver build. <laughs> don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. Every time someone says beaver, don't laugh. It's childish. Don't do it. Stryker said, yo, Seattle, I'm a little late. It's all good, brother. Upside says, uh, where is the 85X channel 2S? What? Popular demandy, uh, but where and why? Where and why? What? Where is the 85X channel 2S? Uh, are you asking why I haven't built an 85 millimeter 2S? Tiny whoop? Is that the, the question? Uh, I might. I might go down the 2S rabbit hole. We'll see. I'm trying not to. I, I want to make 1S work with walk snail but um yeah to keep the weight down keep the durability up but we'll see we'll see uh all right let's get caught up on chat here i'm super 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 behind and it's already 11 o'clock which is when we usually do giveaways but i have to get caught up on chat before the giveaways uh wake and bake says i fixed the beta fpv cross had to hit flash five million times <laughs> oh fpv why are you like this why are all of our products so weird and random sometimes? Lucky says, is it dangerous to fly a whoop at a gas station in terms of starting a fire somehow? The gas station near my house is always empty, so I'd love to fly there. You know, they tell you not to use your cell phone at a gas station, 
so I I would actually not fly FPV at a gas station. Uh, I have before, but I just wasn't thinking about it. I, I've power looped a gas station with a five inch rig at some point. Um, but yeah, I would actually not, I would I would not do that because I I ain't gonna be the guy that makes the gas station explode. I'm sure it's a point oh one 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 or wait no point oh 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 one percent chance that anything will actually happen. But still, I I, I ain't. I ain't gonna be the guy. The end. I ain't. I ain't gonna be on the news. Drone man blows up gas station, killing 18 people. Denzel the terrible says, Curtis Hayes, uh, did you see the picture of CIDFPV that posted in General Nonsense Discord? It explains the sunburn. Um, God, where'd you post it? <laughs> Is it the the weird high cat? Uh. see it that's okay uh da, 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 da. upside i was uh i was on set thursday uh for a uh da baby music video and it was very sunny and it was just cold enough where if i stood in the sun i wasn't freezing balls ass cold and so i stood in the sun all day with no sunscreen on like an idiot upside says uh thank you magic man equals inspire fpv uh Upside is the new uh, Riot 9. Just confusing the shit out of me with most of his comments. But it's okay. I'm trying my best. Trying my best. Uh, Jay-Z says, There's an epidemic of stuttering motors. It's happening uh, to two of my whoops. What's the best solution? Uh, well, I don't know. What I, I gotta know like everything about the whoops. I gotta know like what uh, AIO, what motor. Uh, I wasn't able to figure it out on the... On the, the uh, hummingbird AIO, so I just assume the AIO was blown up. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's nothing that's happened in Beta Flight or Blue Jay that should be causing any of this. So it's it's just random, unfortunately. 10 second runtime says, speaking of bats, sub 250 is the context. Yeah, sub one of sub 250 for anybody that's not in the know. Uh, one of sub sub 250 GFPV's frames is called the bat. Uh, Curtis Hayes says bat lips. <laughs> Steady Eddie says uh, about to do some spring cleaning myself went to fly Sunday and had two new eggs to choose from time to do some spring cleaning yeah when you're stuck in the house build a lot of stuff uh, Sleepy CBR is going to be getting some newbie drone foam you're going to love it Parkour Guy says how could I possibly view your unlisted Patreon and build guides and other parts uh, through your Patreon is there a way to filter uh, or will it be mixed in with the streams? There are filters. Yeah, I've spent a whole bunch of time um, on the tags is what Patreon calls them. Um, so yeah, up at the top of the Patreon, there's a bunch of tags. The 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 most, the, the first tag is always going to be uh, live stream. But then there's going to be like uh, tech talk. And there's going to be like, there's going to be a tag called edits. Uh, yeah, those tags are what you want to use. Just click those and it'll, it'll only show... Uh, the articles that I've put up there with the stuff. And then the the other perks are going to be an email that goes out to you. So as soon as you join my Patreon, an email that goes out with a link to some stuff. Um, and yeah, and then uh, the Discord hookup. If you go to cidfpv.com, um, there's a button for the Discord. That'll get you into the Discord. And then there's, uh, there's a, a text channel called Welcome to the Gangly Gang, which is going to be the only... Uh, text channel in the patreon only section that you can see because it's not locked and in there are instructions on how to link them up it's super easy um it's over on uh, uh patreon there's a button that you hit for like link with discord or whatever um so yeah it's all kind of broken down there if you have any problems message me parkour guy says uh had uh, had the one for fat sharks and hated them there you go there had to be somebody out there um, you know, we've all got different sized faces and different eyes and whatnot. So yeah, newbie drones foam is typically a little bit thicker and that can put the goggles too far away for some people. So, uh, Q silver Me media says, uh, what about HD zero goggle padding? Um, mine have, uh, I put the, the newbie drone foam on mine and I love it. Uh, I also have the, uh, the pyro drone foam, but I haven't tested it yet because the newbie drone phone just works so well at some point i will test it because it's just sitting here on my desk and i need to move it uh upside says i'm getting a nose job are you really or is there is an inside joke am i missing an inside joke 
Jake FPV says, the only issue I've had with newbie driven foam is the back separating after a month or so of use. Really? I've never had that. Um, that's good to know, though, that that's a possibility. Stryker says, uh, RDQ goaded shipping. I'm in Florida Keys, and from RDQ, I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten more than five days <laughs> inside of Florida. That's brutal. Uh, but maybe if, if that just happened recently, maybe that has to do with the fact that get FPV is buying RDQ or whatever, and maybe they're moving their stock around or whatever. Uh, parkour guy says that I missed the giveaway came in an hour to the stream. Nope. Haven't done them yet. I got to get caught up on the chat first. Uh, just Mo says, does Patreon come with <laughs> only fans? Otherwise I'm not su subscribing. It does not. Uh, Curtis Hayes says, uh, Volertis is shutting down 20% off everything. Um, yeah, it's been going on for a month or two. I did an order with them and got some stuff. Um, I got a bunch, they had a couple of Mobula 6 ELRSs actually. Um, but yeah, they've got all kinds of interesting stuff. Lucky says, uh, can I see the orange lanyard? Shoot me a message. Uh, actually just go to Broken Prop Crew. Uh, just go to their website. Broken Prop Crew. It's probably still up. Yep, it's still up. Brokenpropcrew.com. I'll put the link in the, uh, oh no, 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 that makes it so much more difficult. Hold on. See if we can beat the system. Yeah! All right, yo. Search Google. Here, here's a link. Oh, that's too long. Search Google Images for Pretty Fly FPV. P R E T T Y space F L Y space FPV. And a couple of these images have uh, a ton of the designs. And then just surf through the designs and. Uh, yeah, this is not all of them, but this is most of them. Yeah, that makes life easy. I wish I wish there were some of this one. I, I always wanted to get this strap, but it was always sold out, unfortunately. This is the old Taco Cup design. Uh, I'm sorry, the old Taco Bell Cup design. Or it might just be like an 80s cup design, but yeah, this is... Oh, I fucking love this. That's the elusive pretty fly strap that uh, I was never able to get my hands on. I'll never forgive myself. Those ones don't exist. Some of these aren't going to exist. But, yeah, there you go. There you go, my friends. That's how you find it. All right, we're going to do the giveaways in a second. I just need to get caught up on chat. Uh, Builders Interiors says, is it worth the time to resolder the battery wire uh, to the AIO board on a Mobula 7, or should I just buy a new one? Um, when you say, should I just buy a new one, do you mean buy a new Mobula 7? Um, if you mean buy a new Mobula 7, I think it's worth it to solder the battery wire back on. It'll take you like a minute. Um, it's super simple. It, it's it, the, the Soldering battery leads onto Tiny Whoops is one of the more simple um, and like necessarily necessary um, skills to learn to kind of stay in FPV long term. Um, trying to... to, to survive in fpv while not learning to solder is a is such a pain in the ass and soldering is really not that difficult i know it seems like a i i know it feels and seems difficult and i specifically remember thinking i'm never gonna learn how to solder that shit's impossible my dad did it growing up it seemed like it was so difficult um and every once in a while it is difficult but if you follow like the basics it's it's really not that bad um I need to get better. I used to be really good at um, every time I would solder during the live stream, I would like try to give you guys basic tips uh, and tricks and whatnot. And I have not been great about that lately. So A, anybody who's not totally comfortable with soldering, if I'm ever soldering, for the love of God, post in the comments, hey, can you please give us beginner tips and tricks or just like, please give us tips and tricks. Just something to remind me and I'll hit you with like a half a dozen things that'll help you out a ton. There are loads of instructional videos here on YouTube about how to solder. Um, 
the the long and short of it though is to use flux on everything um remember that your left hand or your your weak hand is what's controlling the wire your strong dominant hand is just putting heat on you don't ever want to use the tip of the soldering iron to hold the wire down because you need to remove the tip of the soldering iron at some point and then the wire is going to move so with your off hand you need to keep the wire exactly where it needs to be and it, and you need to be steady with that so you're going to put like the the bottom of your hands down on the desk when you're soldering imagine this is the the soldering iron here both of your hands need to be down on the desk like this and then you're going to hold your wire like this if your hands are hovering you're trying to muscle yourself and like you can see how much i'm moving around it's kind of because i'm talking but you don't want the wires to be moving around you put your hands down on the desk and now you can hold the wire nice and steady and then this is the tip of the soldering iron so if you're holding the wire on there the tip of the soldering iron comes in puts the heat to melt the solder and then it comes out and you're and you just hold the wire perfectly still for a few seconds while it solidifies those are a couple of the real basics um you can use 700 degrees for damn near everything um ts100 is one of the best choices for soldering iron because it's both portable and it works on the bench um and it it's just sort of a situation of like just do it um and if you screw something up hey it was broken anyway right you're trying to fix something so it's broken so if you make it so if you break it worse it's like okay hit it with a hammer and break it even worse after that and, and then you'll feel even better about it but um yeah it's it's just one of the things that you just got to kind of do it um and yeah before you know it it'll it'll just be like done go next uh so that's that's my uh that's my suggestion for you is to use this as a chance to to learn to solder it's already broken if you make it worse it's still going in the river uh if you were asking about um if you should buy a new battery lead a new battery wire battery lead uh go to bt 2.0 um B i would actually recommend that I, like right now if 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 an if a ph 2.0 lead ever comes off of a of a tiny whoop don't put it back on put bt2.0 bt2.0 on it um it, it it performs so much better what's kind of annoying is that you're gonna have to buy some new batteries but the performance increase warrants that big time it's just night and day you get more power and more runtime it's incredible um so yeah do that uh, Stavel says, if you see the baby again, tell him I said hi. Well, inside Joe, well, inside baseball for you guys. Uh, Morton Upshot says, uh, I thought that was a chat bot, uh, not R9. What? What's a chat bot? Uh, Denzel the Terrible says 4.49 PM on, uh, general nonsense discord. 4.49 PM. 4.49 PM. Oh, I'm... <laughs> Wowie, that's something. <laughs> that was it. That's exactly what happened. Look at that fucking visor. Man, I look good in a visor. God damn. I guess I'm getting a visor. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's what you have to look forward to over on my Discord. A lot of that. A lot of that. It's great, though. This is such a cool group of people. Uh, Hockey Round says, uh, Striker, make sure you tag the audio FPV if you, if you have a question for him. Um, Striker says, also, do you recommend the FPV cycle 16 millimeter 4100 kV motor for three and a half inch 4S 250, uh, 260 to 270? I've actually heard a couple of people say that they love that 16 millimeter motor. Uh, what scares me about it is that apparently it's mega notchy, and, and I, I don't, I have not classically had good luck with notchy motors. That was back in the earlier days of Betaflight, though. The new filtering um, might be able to handle that. So, I don't know. I, I can't recommend them because I haven't personally run them. Um, but I have seen builds with no jello whatsoever that run those motors. Uh, it's it's an awful big motor. I, I would personally actually go for like an 1804 um, X Nova 3500 kV. Uh, just because I know it. I know that that motor is like bomb proof. 
Uh, but I'm actually really interested in a, in someday trying those FPV cycle 16 mil motors. Maybe it'll be this summer. Uh, we'll see. Hockey round. Oh no, we got that. Uh, strike. Uh, cool. Got it. Uh, Striker also says. Also, do you know any upgrades for the EV800D that might matter? I, I don't. I don't pay much attention to goggles. Uh, to be honest. Off axis dropping the Patreon link. Thank you, dude. And Titan says, I struggle removing solder from the hole when replacing my battery leads. Any advice? Um, yes, you need solder braid and flux. Uh, the, uh, solder braid is also called solder wick. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna put flux paste down, and then you're gonna put the solder wick on top, and then you're gonna apply heat. And the solder wick is going to pull the solder up out of the um, out of those through holes. The other thing that you can try if that's not working is put the dip put the tip of the solder. If if you've got um, solder from the fact so in factories they use non leaded solder which sucks. And so what can sometimes happen is that the their solder can get all clogged up in the holes and then the solder wick is is a little challenging to use. What I've found works is you put the, the tip of the soldering iron directly on the through hole to get everything nice and hot, and then you pick it up, then you put the solder wick down, and then you put the tip of the soldering iron on, um, and then that'll work better. I had a live stream recently where I really struggled with this, um, and I kind of figured out that little workflow. Um, be persistent with it, it and, and use lots of flux. Uh, and sometimes what you'll actually have to do is add your own leaded solder. Um, so if, if you're get, if, if you're still not, yeah, as like a third last resort, um, heat the pad up and then add a bunch of your own solder and that'll mix leaded solder with the unleaded solder and then go back to the solder wick to try to pull it out. Um, and yeah, give that a shot. Striker says the brother hobby being lighter, but lower stator volume. Uh, what would you prefer out of both? Uh, what's the brother hobby? Uh, Brother Hobby VY 1504 and a half is one of the most fragile motors I've ever run. Cannot suggest them at all. Um, even though the X Nova is a low KV, uh, you can make up for that by putting a pitchy propeller on. Um, and the fact that the motors are bomb proof is just the greatest. Uh, Titan says, I hate to break it to you, but I live in the EU. So, uh, so all solder is lead free. Uh... I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you're just going to have to do all that stuff, but you're going to have to do it harder <laughs> because the, the lead free solder is going to be a pain in the ass. Um, last resort. You can just, you can just put the leads, uh, just flat solder the leads to the, to the tops of the through holes. Uh, lots of people actually do that, but if you can use the through holes, they're incredibly strong. Uh, Stryker says, uh, in between 16 and the X Nova right now, uh, uh, until I break the ones in Baby Ape 2, lol. All right, uh, we're doing giveaways, my friends. While we do the giveaways, there is a uh, Patreon-only text channel over on the Discord called The Video Collective. And in The Video Collective, you guys can post your edits for each other to check out and critique and make fun of. Hopefully not make fun of. I'll find you. Uh... And what I do, because I have to do a couple of quick things to get the giveaways ready, is I'll play a few of these. Uh, so tonight we're going to take a look at one from Hockey Rounds, Bob Noxious, and maybe Mac FPV if I can grab the link to it. It's uh, it's embedded, but that should be okay. Oh, this isn't going to work. Bob Noxious is um, is his band playing, and I, and I don't. Uh, I don't play the audio. I, I play my own audio on these, so I don't have to worry about any copyright nonsense. Um, so we are going to skip that. This embedded one from Mac. Copy link. There we go. What is it a link to? Is it a link to Instagram? What's oh, it? Imgur link. Uh, I like to play them full screen. Uh, this is really short, too. I'm going to skip this one from Mac. You guys should go check it out, though. I, I typically just play YouTube stuff. Uh, we're going to get one from Sebi D. This way I can full screen it for you guys. All right, we got one from Sebi D. And then uh, we got one from Don E as well. Awesome. Usually three is about all I need. All right, cool. 
And so I got all three of these going here. Let's get this rolling. Uh, okay, stream shit, there we go. Hold on, let me pick one of these. Oh! Yeah, that one will work. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back, friends. Hold on. I need to uh, to do a couple of things to get these giveaways set. Let me make sure everything is going to pop up on the right, on the correct monitor real fast here. Come on. There we go. Okay, so if I come in here and download the CSV, where is it going to open? Or is it going to open? What's happening? Why? It's, it's, it, oh my God. Oh my God. Now it's opening 18 times. You scum. There we go. Okay, we're good. Uh, enjoy some flying by three of your beautiful chat mates. I'll be right back. Hold on, I did this wrong. That song's not gonna be long enough anyway. Nope. 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 Absolutely not. Oh, yeah, 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 that'll work, that'll work. Okay, hold on. I had to turn on black hole. people hold on let me go back to uh, there we go all right cool uh here comes the third link if you guys don't click these links and subscribe to these people's channels we're not friends anymore so it's on you uh degal pup says what aio did you use for the fractal 65 build uh i've got f4 six amp one saio um, thankfully the, the fractal builds are all coming apart. Uh, and then I'm using these, uh, bat wing camera mounts, which just fix everything. Uh, but the, uh, at this point, all of the freestyle builds are happy model, old school ELRS, uh, five amps. And then all of the walk snail builds are on the beta FPV cross style AIO. Uh, those are really the only two AIOs that anybody has any uh, has had any significant luck with uh, durability-wise. Um, you know, you'll find people every once in a while that 
Uh, I don't have any dropped frames, so I don't know why it's... Oh, yeah, the quality goes to hell when, when you play somebody else's... Uh, it's it's YouTube's... It, it's YouTube trying to save bandwidth. Um, nothing I can really do about it, unfortunately. Uh, but I don't have any dropped frames. There's no problem on my side. Uh, it's one of the reasons why, like, playing other people's content on live streams never really works all that well, because it, it, YouTube just crunches the quality down and it just looks like hell. Um... Ready? I'm ready. Sort of ready. Hold on. First up, we've got the Tiny Whoop and Toothpick tier. Here's a look at what you're playing for. Uh, Cockroach 65 V3 frame. Ah, I'm just going to dump it all out. I'm going to dump it all out and then refill it. CMYK cup holder. Cup, uh, the, the prevent water rings on your furniture piece of cardboard. Bob Noxious sticker. One yellow tiny whoop propeller. Two yellow tiny whoop propellers. I'm not going to make you go through this. There's a whole bunch of propellers in here. Uh, there are 1208 propellers in here, and there are also 12, the old school gem fan and the new school gem fan propellers. Uh, bunch of weed lead stickers, broken prop crew sticker, uh, brain 3D sticker. Little tiny thing of, uh, CA, super glue, to remind you to only buy little tiny things of super glue because they dry up. Uh, BT 2.0, 180 degree connector, worth gold, more, uh, we bleed FPV stickers. Uh, little uh, RF card from Newbie Drone. Newbie Drone's little sticker set. We bleed magnet. A fourth yellow tiny whoop propeller. Uh, set of uh, tiny whoop motor screws. Soldering sponge. Mobula six uh, smoke crotch gray canopy. Ah! Uh, we bleed FPV battery holder masquerading as a band-aid container. The cool band-aids that I always have on. A whole bunch of them in here. But you should take the band-aids out and use this for your uh, tiny whoop batteries. It's amazing and it's metal. So if they ever catch fire, a tiny little bit of fire because they're tiny little batteries, uh, you won't burn your house down. And one of every single gem fan tiny whoop propeller i shit you not 1.2 inch well <laughs> one of every single gem fan propeller tiny whoop propeller prior to the absolutely brand new 1219s <laughs> um on my uh, uh uh 2024 sponsor box of gem fan props um i had them send me every single tiny whoop propeller that they had at the time. Uh, so this is uh, a set and a half of every single prop. 1.2 inch, 35 millimeter, 1.6 inch, 45 millimeter, um, bi-blade, tri-blade, quad blade, one millimeter prop, uh, one and a half millimeter prop. They're all in there. There are six of each, three left and three right. I have a bunch of these. I hope you guys appreciate this. It took me hours, hours and hours and hours to go through. Because when, when they send you the sponsor box out, it's like big bags of props, right? Um, so I, I sat here with, with just a whole bunch of these. I have enough of these for the next like six months. Um, I had to sit there and just go right, clockwise, 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 can't, counterclockwise, can't, counterclockwise, counterclockwise. It took me hours. I mean, I, I sat on the couch um, on the coffee table with great YouTube videos playing while I was doing it. But uh, yeah, is that cool? Is that cool to have one bag with every single propeller? Um, is it? It better be. <laughs> All right, let's see who's going to win. Uh, pull this over here and let's go full screen. Actually, let me pull... The OBS window across just so that I don't lose everything. And right. There we go here. And we're going to go like that. And there's everybody's names. Goat is ready. Let's see who's going to win. 
So many tickets, I have absolutely no idea whose names to say. CMYK is in the bottom right, though. Frank Nicholas is next to him. Free Lojo is next to him. Andy Welma. He, everybody just got blown away all at once, and Ryan Horton is the one that remains. Congratulations, Ryan. You have won. Some very cool Tiny Whoop stuff. Ryan... H O R T O N. Congratulations, brother. Next up, we've got the three inch micro brushless and Cinewoop tier giveaway. And so we've got the same, uh, many of those same stickers uh, the, the super glue, the uh, CMYK cup holder. It's not a cup holder, coaster. It's a coaster. CMYK coaster, uh, the soldering sponge, Bob Noxious sticker, uh, four of these little silicone caps that you can use on your XT30s if you ever fly. You're supposed to put caps on all of your uh, battery leads when you fly. I never have, and they've never said a goddamn thing, so you don't actually have to do it, but eh, do it anyway. Don't be like me. I'm a big dummy. I just forget. Um, uh, looks like two sets of Gemfan D90S. This is their three and a half inch uh, tri blade Cinewoop propeller. You could run it on an open prop, uh, uh, open prop rig. It's going to be a little bit less efficient. And a giant set of motors. <laughs> These are the Stan FPV absolutely gigantic 2604. Where's the KV? 2410 KV. So this this is a motor that's going to work really well on a three and a half inch propeller like what's in here. Um, the KV is kind of low for 4S. I would run these on 6S. Um, yeah, really interesting, massive motor. 4, 8, 12, 16, 18, 22, 26. 7 to 1 width to height ratio motor. Um, crazy, 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 crazy setup. Super like grunty kind of motor. Uh, it's going to be like a cruisy sort of motor. It's, it, he designed it for the 3D, uh, uh, Cinebird. He designed it for the Cinebird, which picks up a 360 cam. Um, so it's a motor that, you know, with that much width, it's going to stay really cool. So you could pick up a full weight GoPro all day, every day. I think those 360 cams are like 150, 160 grams. Um, so yeah, full weight GoPro uh, carrying super cool running motor. Uh, let's see who's going to win. We've got all these beautiful people. The goat calls it. The goat needs to be louder. God damn it. Uh, Parker Lipscomb is in the bottom left. He's hanging in. Christopher Dilks is on the top left. Steven Pratt as well. Frank Nicholas got blown away before my very eyes. Kevin, uh, Kevin Sumner's gone. John Godwin, bottom right. He's hanging in. Brian Lesser, but no, he's gone. Ken Deli, the one and only, has won. This box is going, it's not a box. This, uh, thing is going down to Florida. What's this called? Packaging envelope. Oh, man. Ken is one of the only reasons that there's power in this basement. <laughs> he came over, um, uh, we moved in here slightly after Rampage, and I, I think he was at Rampage and then followed me down. I think that was how it ended up working. Uh, but yeah, he came down and helped me do a ton of wiring down here, which was very cool. Me, him, and Patrick went ballistic on this basement um, when uh, I first moved in here. And uh, I'm forever grateful for the help that he gave me. I can solder up tiny whoops like a son of a bitch, but putting big lines through the walls and shit, that ain't my thing. <laughs> I have no experience in it, and it scares the hell out of me. The five-inch tier. Seamus Kelly with a $5 super chat. He says, Ugas Das Bugas. <laughs> Thank you, dude. What does Ugas Das Bugas mean? <laughs> All right. We've got... A bunch of the same stuff. CMYK coaster. Sponge. Brain 3D sticker. Broken prop crew sticker. Bob Noxious sticker. Special upside down limited edition. Yeah, get off, hairs. Whose hair is that? Uh, XT60 caps, since it's a 5-inch giveaway. Super glue. Pulse 
Day Glow Green Battery Straps. A nozzle. There should be. There kind of needs to be. Oh boy. A nozzleless super glue. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and a set of the uh, Lumineer skids, the LED skids, which fit absolutely perfectly on this Joshua Bardwell QAVS frame. Uh, these skids were designed for these arms, and they fit perfectly on there, which is just the most satisfying shit ever. Uh, the arm even kind of has like a cutout that looks like it would be for the LED, but I don't think it actually is, because you can run them on anything. Uh, but yeah, JB QAVS frame in the house. All right, this needs to go back, and let's see who's going to win this one. Wait, is that already up here? Is that it? One, two, three. Yep, there it is. And here we go. There's a little bit louder of a goat. Uh, Parker Lipsko on top left. Patrick Scott on the bottom left. Aaron FPV down by the bottom of the quad there. Uh, Metal Dirtskin, I think, got blown away at the last second. P. Richard Scott, you've won. Congratulations, brother. You've got a QAVS coming at you. That's cool, because I can hand deliver it. Uh, i got to see his new place. P. Richard Scott. Congratulations, my friends. Now we've got the open to anyone super chat based giveaway for a $5 super chat. You can buy a ticket. I'm going to show you what you're playing for as I sneeze. Uh, uh. That was weird. It was like a sneeze yawn hybrid. Here's what you're playing for, friends. Uh, you can also do PayPal. CiatiFPV.com. There's a PayPal link um, in the description. Just say, like, for the giveaway. Uh, and put your YouTube name, if you don't mind, as well. Here's what you're playing for, my friends. Where the hell did that super glue nozzle go? I'll probably find that super glue nozzle. Uh, pair of tiny little tweezers. Super glue with nozzle. We bleed FPV sticker. Extra long SMA antenna. Always really nice to have in your kit. Uh, this is an Axie 2. This is a true RC antenna. These are the ones you want. Uh, right hand circular polarized. Uh, little bottle of E6000 with the super, super, super precision applicator tip so that you can just put the tiniest little bit of E6000 exactly where you need it. Really, really, really handy. Uh, especially for like reinforcing tiny whoop frames. Sponge! Bing bong! F your life! Salt Lake City Racing, Bob Noxious sticker. Uh, yeah, and you can buy as many tickets as you want. Ten bucks gets you two tickets, five bucks gets you one, and so on and so forth. Uh, PayPal or Super Chat. Broken Prop Crew sticker. Ciati FPV M&Ms! They literally say Ciati FPV on them, and they're all white, just like me. Although now I'm more red. Soon I'll be brown. Ish. Uh, Brain 3D sticker. Three sets of 4936. Yar! Yar! I forget what pitch they are. It's the uh, it's the gem fan 4.9 inch props that I'm all obsessed with right now. 34, 49, 34, three sets of them. You're gonna love these props. They're awesome as long as you have higher KV motors. Um, these are gem fan 5149s. This is a very lightweight, super pitchy prop. Really cool for going fast, but still having a locked in pit tune. And then the oh so desirable, but damn near impossible to get. Manufactured by Douglas Otwell Incorporated. Red glittery gangly fan. After this one, there's only one left. Maybe maybe Douglas Otwell will make more. Maybe not. You never know. This could be the second to last gangly fan ever. That's what you're playing for, my friends. That's what's at stake. We're going to start off with Super Chats and then we'll... 
jump into PayPal and then we'll come back to Super Chats. Let me just get this gangly ass MF and fan wrapped up here. Get in there. Get in there, gangly. Bubble wrap. Oh man, I'm doing a terrible job wrapping this up. There we go. I came through. I persevered. And in the end, we got it done. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, let's get this going here. So, we are going to reset. And I'm going to hit this button here. And. Seamus Kelly, tag me and tell me if your uh, $5 super chat was to get in on the giveaway. If it was, I'll put you on here. Um, if it wasn't, whatever, let me know. Tag me, type CIDFPV, uh, say yes or no. The five bucks was for the giveaway. Uh, FPV Flyer with a $10 super chat. He's going in here twice. Thank you for the support, my friend. Once and twice. I'm going to do this so that you guys can, uh, can check my math. Denzel the Terrible says one for me, please. You got it, my friend. All right. Here, let me create some spaces here. This will make my life a little bit easier. Uh, Curtis Hayes says, do a few frame code giveaways since you were, uh, weren't able to last for a few live streams. Uh, it's already 1145. Let's let's do it on Whoop Wednesday. I'm, I'm kind of running out of those too, so I, I don't want to go blasting through them super, super fast, but we'll do it on Whoop Wednesday. 16-bit um, uh, says, my phone is spazzing out. Uh, Titan says, do you have any tips for making UFO antennas staying on? Mine keeps getting smacked off. Yeah, just, uh, tighten them up. The, 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 just take like a little five X loop and just look at the UFL antenna and you'll see that there's one piece of metal on the top like this. And then there's two little pieces of metals on the side. Just very carefully push those inwards a little bit and then it'll stay on or just glue it. Just E6000 it down. Bob Bruce with a $10 super chat. He says, I'm done for two tonight. Uh, need a gangly fan. You got it, brother. Bob, Bruce, you are going on here twice. Uh, TJ Tella with a 599 pound super chat. He says, trees or dicks? Um, fair warning for anybody outside of the U.S., you're going to have to pay the extra shipping, which is usually between uh, 20 and $30. It's it's a little expensive, but um, yeah, the, I'll ship these within the U.S., but um, outside, yeah, the extra shipping is on you. Uh, if you want me to refund you, uh, just let me know. And it's it's no sweat. A uh, bunch of people calling out PayPal. Thank you for that. Jay Hines with a $5 super chat. He's going on the wheel. Thank you, Jay. All right. Rolling over to email and PayPal. Here we go. I'm going to go top down. And Kevin the Alien. With a $10 PayPal, he's going on the wheel twice. Thank you, dude. Once, twice. All right, let's get this. And Kevin Sumner with a $50 PayPal. He says 10 for the most recent patron. Good Lord, what a kind and generous son of a bitch that man is. As always, let's figure it out. Who's the most recent patron? It is. It is. It is William Scott. Congratulations, William Scott. Send uh, uh, Kevin Sumner a huge thank you because you, my friend, are going on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten effing times because this community of people is the goddamn best. Welcome to Patreon, William Scott. Thank you so much for joining, man. Uh, hey, David Ciotti with a $20 PayPal. He says two each. For the time coders, that means Apache Smoke, and I'll just type it again, and QuadBod. Thank you, Dad. That is super cool of you. Apache Smoke, Wounded Sniper, and QuadBot are the ones that have done all of the time codes on the live streams, and my God, is it so cool of them. Uh, Stavol with a $20 PayPal, he says, uh, two for me and, <laughs> and two random people. All right. The, the, uh, so we'll do this. The, the first two people that type at CIDFPV and nothing else in the chat, uh, get on here for these two random people from, uh, Stavol. 
We've got Stavel twice, and it's going to be the announcer live and Titan. Announcer live, you're going on here once, and then Titan. I can just type Titan. Very cool of you, Stavel. There's your two random people. And then we've got... Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's Stavel. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, and then Ed K with a $5 super chat. He's going on the wheel. Thank you, brother. All right, got it. And Kevin Sumner, I got you going. Uh, Metal Dirtskin, he's going on here two times. $10 PayPal. Thank you, brother. We got once and twice. And now we're going to bounce back to Super Chats, get that knocked out, and away we shall go. Thanks, everybody. Uh, I want to... Still unread. Why is it? Why is my email doing that? It's so weird. Uh, all right. So we left off at Jay Hines. So we're going to go Edgar Hernandez with a four ninety nine super chat. He says, one for me, please. You got it, brother. Gotcha. And then Timmons says, put me in coach with a $5 super chat. He's going on. And it looks like we got one more after that, which is going to be 10 second runtime. He says, fan. You're going on here as well. Thanks, everybody. Wait, we got one more that just popped up. And, oh, didn't need to copy that. And then we've got Peace and Love FPV with a $20 super chat. Uh, two for me and two for the most recent patron. We're going to pick another, the, the second most recent patron. Um, but first, we're going to do Peace and Love once and twice. And then Sleepy CBR, one for him. He's going on there as well. All right, so we're going to pick the second most recent patron. And so I just need to go in here. And who's that going to be? Who's that going to be? So here is... Um, so there's William Scott. We got him, but right before William Scott... Yeah, look at that. It's uh, the announcer. Meet the... Uh, uh, so uh, and we just got him on here, didn't we? Or no, that was 10-second runtime. Wait, no, no, the announcer live. I'm assuming that the announcer on Patreon is the same thing as the announcer live on YouTube. Uh, so he gets two as well. Uh, well, three total. There we go. Uh, and then some guy FPV with a $10 super chat. He wants a spot, please. Will you get two spots, my friend? Thank you, brother. Once. What just happened? Why did it copy that? That's not what I wanted you to copy. Copied everything other than what I wanted to copy. There we go. Some guy FPV. All right, cool. I think we're good to go. Let me bounce back and check PayPal real quick. Nope, we're good. And Super Chats were good. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Super, super, super support. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so that, that's just going to be slow and catch up. Awesome. And... <laughs> it's almost caught up here we go friends thanks to all of you beautiful bastards for keeping this shit going it's super cool and i love it and i hope that you know the giveaways are my way of kind of trying to like give back and build some excitement and yeah it's always fun i hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for joining in uh let's see who wins the goat <laughs> what a scream what a goddamn screen. Bob Bruce, bottom right. William Scott next to him. Uh, Timmons is top right. William Scott. Oh, it's William Scott. Congratulations. The most recent patron has won thanks to the kindness of the community. William Scott, I need you to do some shit. I need you to message me somewhere and say, yo, it's William Scott. I won the Super Chat giveaway. Uh, hey, also, are you a... Uh, you're in the chat. What size t-shirt do you wear, William Scott? What size t-shirt do you wear? Uh, never mind. I don't have room in this bag for the t-shirt. Uh, I got to do more of the t-shirt giveaways. Um, yeah, William Scott, message me. Say, yo, it's William Scott. Here's my address. Here's my um, email address for tracking. All I'm doing right now is writing William Scott on this thing. I don't, if, if you're on my Patreon and your address is in there, that's great. But if, if you're not, that's okay, too. Um, wait, no, you're definitely, you're the most recent patron. <laughs> I can probably get your info. Hold on. Let me see. No, why did I put it in my mouth? I can't talk when, when it's in my mouth. Um, that's what she said. 
Uh, present. There it is. Hold on. Let me see if your address and email are in here. They should be. It's like a requirement. I've got your address. I've got your email. You're good to go, my friend. Uh, you don't have to do anything. I've got all your info. The The beauty of being a patron right here. You don't have to do a damn thing. And I will mail your stuff out. Congratulations, brother. You got a gangly fan coming at you. Oh, my God. Thank you, friends. Love me some monthly giveaways. Uh, we'll do it again in a few weeks. Three, four, five. How does How do numbers work? Five weeks. Five weeks from now, we'll do it all over again. Uh, two hummingbirds down. Mailbag. Six batteries. That's all we have to do. Uh, let's go with the uh, the rig on the HQ YOLO props, which is the uh, 0702 32,000 KV build. Uh, and I've only, got, I've, ah, I've only got three batteries, but we've only got six minutes left, so it's probably perfect. Uh, I'm going to fly these fat sharks a bunch, and then I'm going to go back to the uh, HD Zero goggles, and I'll let you know what I think. I went all in on the HD Zero goggles. And they're fine. They're not as comfortable, but um, yeah. Uh, Kevin Sumner says, I went on a quest. Results in CIMPV reacts. I can only possibly imagine what that means. Uh, CIMPV reacts. Where the hell did I put that text channel over on Discord? Where did I put it? I thought I put it up top. Nope. I put it down here. What was your quest? Oh, oh, this is a good quest. Hold on. Let's take a look at this quest. Uh, eBay, ETH-1.2. Oh, look at this. External snap ring re retaining clamp. Hold on. Hold on. What is this? What is this? Did you find the fork that they're using in the, uh, in the, um, oh, look at this goddamn guy. Oh, so that, is that how you're holding, are you using it to put the C-clips back on? That's what you're doing, aren't you? But it also looks like it would take them off pretty nicely, right? Ooh. Oh, so it's got a little indentation. I guess the little indentation is for the uh, the C clip. Uh, Kevin, do tell us what uh, what you're up to with this. It looks like you're both removing and putting these C clips back on. Oh, very cool. Twenty eight dollars. Oof, that is taking one for the team right there. <laughs> Look at the big ones, man. It, it, for for big C clips, these would be worth their weight in gold. Uh, haven't figured out how to get it to take them off, but it makes them so much easier to put on. Ah, okay, yeah, very cool, very very cool. Good find. Uh, twenty eight bucks is is rough, obviously, but damn, that's cool that that exists. If you're gonna be doing a bunch of uh, screwing around with tiny whoop motors. That would be nice to have. And I know you've been having problems pushing those top C-clips off. I don't know why, but I haven't. I've not had any issues with that. All right, people. Let's get our last couple. Let's get a couple of batteries in here. And then we'll wrap it up for the day. We'll come on back on uh, Whoop Wednesday and talk about some more shit. Maybe the uh, RC and Power 1002s will be here by then. And we can uh, we can compare the iFlight 1002s to the Flywoos to the RC and Powers. But for right now... We're going to do some tiny whooping. Low battery. Oh, it's 28 bucks for five of them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you for that off-axis. Akash 05 plays has Happy Model Crazy F4 915 megahertz AIO. Ugh, that stinks. Um, uh, can I add a, a 2.4 receiver on the board? Yeah, you can. But the problem, as you're saying, is uh, can I disable the onboard 915? I don't know if you... I, I don't know how to do that. Uh... 
you're gonna have to uh, get just send a message to Happy Model. They they've got customer service people um, that will probably get back to you. All right, yo, let's do a little bit of flying and get up out of here. It's late. Look what the OSD is doing up on the top there. What's that about? Stop doing that. Whoo, shit. So, more often, I fly the 36,000 kV rig on the Biblades. Those Biblades are a little bit heavier, believe it or not, than these Triblades. Oh, boy. But with that extra KV, 36,000, and in this case, 32,000, the, the more I bounce back and forth between these two, the, the more I really do, like, feel feel the difference. Um, these HQ... <laughs> oh, my God. These HQ ultralight tri-blades are nuts. They're not very durable. But Jesus Christ, <laughs> they are something else. Um, for sure, get yourself a couple of sets. Uh, don't just buy one set because they don't last all that long. Uh, but man, they are aggressive. This is a lower KV, more propeller having setup. And it's it just like accelerates man like it just grips the air and goes right that's what you get from that third blade is like grip um oops and yeah you don't have to have you don't have to have you don't have to have as much kv as you do um for these props so like this rig at thirty-two thousand kv makes pretty much all the power that the other rig on the by blades with 36,000 kV makes it just delivers the power differently more more quickly um it's like more crisp this rig i think i like the other one better but there's nothing wrong with this and yeah everybody should what you want to do is get the 36,000 kV motors and then limit them down for these for these propellers. Oh god, don't fall behind, you scum. No. Oh, it's right there. We're good. Uh yeah, motor limit those down to 32,000 kV for these props. Buy both sets of props and buy the high kV motors. Uh and then you can try it both ways. Um, and yeah, you might like one or the other. I, I, I think I like the other one, but, uh, yeah. Hell, these props will work well on even lower KV stuff, man. Look at the low ass camera angle that I've got right now. Hold on. Let me give myself a little bit more camera angle than this. I also might've felt a little micro fail safe there. I don't know. Maybe not, but maybe. All right, I just want a little tiny bit more up tilt. I just want a little bit more of the ducts out of you. Yeah, there we go. This is the amount of duct that I like to see with the Mobula 6 canopy. That's just me. Like, that's just what the, the up tilt that I fly more often than not. Oh my God. Hold on. I got shit on the lens. I got uh, fingerprint on the lens. Yeah, that should be a little bit better. Hopefully that's what that was. Yeah, there we go. Much better. All right. Look at that. That's nice and clear now. Oh, God. What? Why? I just kept trucking towards the uh, the wall. Oh. Oh, God. Why me? Why? Hey, I can get through it. Oh, God. No, why? Stop it. Leave me alone. Oh, no. All is lost. Seven. Stop it. Let me fly, world. Ah, oh, stupid ground. Get me. Three. Woo! Two. This thing One. rails, man. These props are great. It makes so much sense why, like, all the racers are running these propellers. Um, for those guys, it's all performance. 
the uh, the durability of the rig is not nearly as important um, as it is with us freestyle donkeys. I mean, it is still important. The 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 quad has to get to the end of the race, but it's uh, woo. Man, I'm flying like a racer lately, making all these stupid left right corrections. I gotta knock that off. Whoo, man. Riot 9's in the house. Uh, these are happy, uh, well, yeah, happy model, but Tiny Whoop 0702 32,000s. Uh, that was a fresh battery. Let's fly an old, beat up battery. Not that old, not that beat up, but older and more beat up than the battery we just flew and the last battery that we're going to fly in a second. Let's go upstairs with the old, beat up battery. What do you say? Here we go! Oh, God, no! Down we go. Yeah, get in there. Lewis! Don't fall in the block, dog bowl. Kids are on spring break. Azalea immediately got sick. Oh, God! Don't hit the new fan. Don't hit the fancy new fan. Um... The uh, the blades spin a little. I was hoping that with eight big ass blades, that um, it would at the lowest setting it would spin really slow. It does not. It's uh, this fan hauls ass all the time. So I'm not gonna be the 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 land on the fan blade thing is just not gonna happen. Oh my god! What a slappy crash! Ooh, fan tried to eat us, but we said absolutely. Hell no. Nah. Oh my god, what did I do? I just didn't drop the throttle to not avoid the ceiling. That was very confusing. Hey, oh, really? How are you going to do me like that? No! Oh! We got it. It was a little ugly, but... No! Why? Why does it keep getting me like that? Let's come back downstairs before this battery shits the bed. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Wasn't looking at what was right in front of me. I was looking at where I wanted to go, not where I was. And you got to be a little careful with that. Your peripheral vision will usually cover you, but every once in a while, it will betray you. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. There's my secret, my secret hiding spot. Look, 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 look. This is my secret hiding spot for food. This is where I hide food from the kids. Oh yeah. Well, we're gonna dance later, me and you. A little box of disgusting processed sugar. I'm gonna give this battery a nice little life and bring it in right now before it's it even gives me any of the warnings. What do you think of that? Uh how's the video quality with the ultra lightweight, super jank ass antenna? Uh especially upstairs. What's the what's the video quality look like? For me it's 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 awesome, but you know. Uh, rapid fire just owns all curious about you guys especially those of you that have been around for a while are, are you noticing better uh, video quality from these tiny whoops as of like the last couple of weeks that I've switched the antennas over I'll bet that you have uh, these are the gem fan uh, not gem fan these are the HQ YOLO props I call them uh, why do we not have video hey uh, Riot9 says, is that a legally acquired number plate or a street sign above the door? Uh, what door? Where's there a street sign? I don't know where there's a street sign. Uh, Parkour Guy says, how long have you been playing drums? Uh, does it have a double kick? Beautiful setup. Thank you, dude. Uh, I started, my parents got me into, oh, these props are starting to get beat up. This thing's starting to fly like shit. Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me look at these props. Uh, 
my parents got me into drums at the age of nine and uh they got me private lessons with an amazing jazz drummer up in new jersey named tony di nicola um and i played all through college um you know marching band jazz band all everything you could possibly do um all the way through college and then i started living in apartments and uh really couldn't have my drum set uh but then at the age of 41 last year uh i moved into this big amazing house with maggie and i was able to put my drum set back together so my parents brought it back down from new jersey and i play like once or twice a week and it's very fun i don't play for very long um i get very very frustrated that i'm not instantly as good as i once was uh but you know it's very fun and i and i'm slowly but surely getting some of my chops back which makes me feel better about that and uh I'm, i've been having more and more fun because of that because I'm, I'm the type of person that can't like i can't possibly just do something for the love of doing it like i have to be i have to be good at stuff um in my defense when you get really good at stuff for me at least it becomes more fun um i love the <laughs> crash recovery thank you bro <laughs> we still went through the gate and we did it right side up but i didn't even put the stick command in to do that crash recovery hooked, hooked us up on that one Hold on, let me actually just fly. Ah! Oh, God damn it! I was about to say I'm actually not crashing all over the place right now. <laughs> ah! You bastard! Let me fly, room. Let me do all the things. Can't these gates just move the hell out of the way for me once in a while? Woo! Hold on. Let's get it. This rig flies great, man. These. These propellers, while hysterically fragile, they fly so goddamn good. I mean, it's just because they're so light. Like, really lightweight propellers always fly good. But, like, Tiny Whoop is interesting, right? Like, HQ has made some really lightweight 5-inch props lately, like the juicy ones, like the J37s. And they fly great, but, like, the first time you crash them... You can't fly your rig home. Like, they're so thin. On a tiny whoop, like, I've punished these props a bunch. I expect and, and want propellers to last longer than these do. But, like, I've crashed this a bunch, and we're still going. So, like, if, if you can not be such a bitch like me and, and be actually willing to replace propellers a little bit more often... Um, Man, these props are, are something else. They are really good. All that being said, uh, Gemfan has the 1219S, which is significantly more durable, only a little bit heavier, and they're actually a little bit more pitchy than these. Um, but yeah, if, if you're an HQ fan... These are the only tiny whoop props you should be running. Like, w when I say, like, if you're an HQ fan, what I also mean is, like, if you're anti-gem fan for some reason. Um, these are the propellers for you. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah, these are good props. I like these a lot. I like them a lot. Uh, it's really, really, really nice that, that we've got some, um, that we've got so many options. Um, you know, if, if you're willing to change props more often, or if you don't crash as much, um, this propeller is a, is a brilliant option. Uh, if you want more durability, you got that. Uh, if you want that by blade off throttle, just sail, um, you've got the, the gem fan by blades. This is what happens to these propellers. The the they're so thin that the tip of the propeller just leaves the conversation and it bends up like this. 
and then they fly like absolute ass. And it actually ends up bending the rest of the blade down, as you can kind of see. Um, so yeah, these props don't last that long. This was... This set of propellers probably has five, maybe six batteries on it. Um, I crash a lot, and I crash very often. But yeah, that that like that's an annoyingly low number of batteries. Um, I always do bend them. I, I just bend it back, and then I try to bend the propeller up to get it even with with the other ones. But it's never quite right. And, and it, it just starts to, and I end up having to like back the tune off and then I'm playing this dance of like, how far am I willing to go on these propellers? How, how shit am I willing to make the tune? Um, it's, it's just so much easier for me to run the gem fan 1219 S or 1210, uh, 1219S tri blades or 1210 by blades, um, and just have a durable propeller. Um, but Man, every time I fly this thing on these propellers, I'm like, yeah, like it's it's just it's it's a really nice um little vacation that that I get to go on with these um YOLO props. And yeah, I don't know, maybe I should just buy 10 bags of the damn things and stop bitching and moaning. But, you know, the 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 other part of this is that like Taking propellers off and on and off and on and off and on these motors that are out of stock all the time, it it's not great for the motor. Like if, like it does wear the motor down, and and you do end up grenading the motors eventually because you've taken props off and on so many times, um, even when you've drilled them out. So it, it's. Uh... Parkour guy says uh, no HD zero goggles. I'm bouncing back and forth. The, the HD zero goggles are so heavy, man. Like the OG Fat Sharks, God, they're just there's nothing like them. They fit so perfectly. They're so lightweight. They just work. Um, you know the the HD zero goggles. I kind of wish I'd been wearing them just now because I was flying pretty decent, and they do have DVR that actually works, and it and it works really really well. So I do kind of wish that um, I had been. Uh, using them just now to have the DVR files from some of that because I could maybe do a quick little edit with it. Uh, but yeah, the fat sh the the Fat Shark HD threes are just way more comfortable and they just work and they're just awesome. I love them. A uh, couple more. I, I I'm I'm gonna miss a couple of. I'm gonna miss something from the chat from up above, but. It's uh, it's after 12, and uh, I'm going to take the last four comments here, and then we're going to wrap it up. Kevin the Alien says, what size screws are you using in the Mobula, the 2024 Mobula 6 canopy? Uh, I am using the uh, the Mobula 7 longer screws. If you go to Race Day Quads and type in Mobula 7 screws, you can buy a kit. Uh, you can buy a pack of them. I think you can also get them from Banggood and AliExpress. Mobula 7 screws, you'll see they're a little bit extra long. Off Axis says, I wish I had the same... I wish you had the same VTX UFL connection issue like I had. Uh, I'm left with two dead AIOs on two newbie drone dr drones. Going to stick to the happy model from now on. Off axis, uh, I don't. It sounds like you might not have caught it earlier in the live stream. Um, I was going to replace my Hummingbird V3, and I went to remove the uh, the ELRS antenna from the little IPEX and. Uh, it ripped off. I think uh, you were the one that had that happen with the the, the video side UFLs uh, on the hummingbirds. Um, so yeah, I'm super sad. Uh, that's the title of the stream: Two Hummingbirds Down. The 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 the, the hummingbird from uh, a couple of days ago it was doing that really weird motor thing. I think the ESC is blown up, um, and then I tried to replace it with this one, and yeah, it ripped right off. So. Um, yeah, the Hummingbird V3, when it works, it's great. It's very lightweight, but the the, the durability is just not great. Um, yeah, so I don't know what to say. I, I'm um, I'm very sad because it's super lightweight, and I love Newbie Drone, uh, and they are very, very supportive of me, but uh, yeah. Uh, if anybody wants these, let me know. Uh, I just I shouldn't have taken it off. If 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 you're gonna buy a Hummingbird V3, don't take the antennas off. Just leave them on. 
And uh, like Offax has just said, uh, yeah, do, use some glue. Uh, do some uh, E6000. Put E6000 around the base of it and, and you'll... I mean, unless you remove the connector, there's never going to be any real upward force on those. So you'll, you'll probably be fine, but just throw a little bead of E6000 around it anyway, and then it'll definitely be fine. Um, but I also had one of the hummingbirds break on a nose down, no, uh, face first collision. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Rio Lai says, could you use any four pole 3.5 cable for AV in or are the special cables, uh, that is made for AV, like the AV into the DJI goggles, V2 walk snow goggles, HD zero goggles. Um, I don't. Yeah, you, you typically don't want to do that. Typically, um, that's going to have extra latency involved. You want to run goggles that have the module bay specifically driving right into the um, right into the goggle. So like the walk snail goggles. I'm sorry, not walk snail. Um, the HD zero goggles have the little module bay that you put on the side uh, or the fat shark goggles. You put the module, uh, the, the receiver right into the, to the damn thing. Um, that's how you get a, a low latency setup. If you're doing like HDMI in and stuff like that, you, you open up the door for, so like there's on the DJI goggles, right? There's like the DigiView thing and it just, it just doesn't work all that well. Like it works, but there's extra latency involved and it's, and it's just kind of a pain in the ass in terms of analog. Realistically, your options are a specific analog set of goggles. My favorite deal is to get used fat sharks, um, or the HD zero goggles, uh, HD zero goggles are Awful expensive, but if you're going to do HD zero anyway, awesome. Uh, Jake FPV says, what's your analog capture system for the stream look like? It's just these super basic little like $25. I took the case off of this one because it runs really hot, um, but there's another one that's hooked up right now. Um, if you go to Amazon and you search for ROTG, uh, nope, 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 I lied. Uh, if you go to Amazon and search for... Uh, uh, FPV VTX USB, I think we'll find it. Yep, there it is. Uh, so it's just this guy for 31 whole dollars. So just search for FPV VTX USB. Uh, and this is the one, this is the um, non-diversity version, and that's what I'm using at the moment. And then this one that I decased is the diversity version. Um, the diversity version flashes a little bit when it switches antennas, and like you're just going to be using it at home typically. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, different, if you're going to use it outside long range, get the diversity one. If you're just going to use it in the house, just get the, the single one. Uh, parkour guy says, what kind of music do you play on that drum set? And how long have you been playing that set looks be Oh, we got that. Um, yeah, I started when I was on and played all through. Um, uh, so like, yeah, I was trained in jazz, but then of course, you know, started playing like rock and stuff. I was in a, a uh, little Metallica cover band for a little while. Um, but I'm, I'm, I, I tend to play more like kind of jazz funk fusion E stuff, um, with some like R and B kind of flavor in there. I'm not that great anymore. Um, but I'm better than most and, uh, it's fun. It's fun to do it. Uh, we're good to go. Thanks friends. Be good. Uh, I will see you whoop Wednesday cidfpv.com to support me and we'll keep doing this thing forever cool i don't know what we'll do this wednesday probably get caught up there's a bunch of stuff that's kind of been holding on the tiny whoop stuff i really hope those rc and power 1002s come that would be really nice to do uh but yeah see you then later friends be good bye bye here's some more flying here's some more from that uh atlanta edit uh where's it at should open up and start playing where it was, right? Maybe by Wednesday the raccoon eyes will be gone. Yeah. Oh nope. Started over. I'll pick something else for you to watch. That was I was actually flying a six inch rig in that um uh in that edit. That's why it looks so slow and fat. I'll just play it again. Start from like halfway through. Yeah, my uh, on the very first battery that I flew. I blew up the uh, the only five inch rig I had, and then I was playing around with this other rig with uh, six inch props. So this is a this is a big, heavy, big motored six inch rig that I'm flying, which is why it looks like such a boat. Bye bye, friends. I love you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>